Hello everyone, welcome to a short lesson video on the topic Accounting for Depreciation for Cambridge IGCSE Accounting. In this video, we will understand the meaning of the term depreciation and explore some concepts related to it. But before we proceed, it is important to note that abbreviations are used in this presentation only due to space constraints. Abbreviations are strictly not allowed in the Cambridge exams. Every business uses non-current assets like vehicle, machinery, furniture, building and land. As they are used by the business, these non-current assets lose value over time. Except land, of course. Land does not wear out with use. This loss in value of the non-current assets is called depreciation. Depreciation is an estimate of the loss in value of a non-current asset over its expected useful life. It is an estimate because the exact amount of loss in value will only be known when the asset is disposed. So here's a question for you. A business purchases a building for $80,000 and machinery for $40,000 at the beginning of the year. So at the year end, is it fair to show the non-current assets at $80,000 and $40,000 that is at their respective costs in the financial statements? As we have already discussed, non-current assets lose value that is they depreciate over time and with use. So naturally then it would be misleading to show the non-current assets at cost in the financial statements at the end of the year. Now let's see how the matching principle is applied while charging depreciation. If a business purchases a car costing $50,000 with a useful life of 5 years, the car will generate revenue for the business for each of the 5 years. But as per the matching principle, revenue should be matched with expense of the same year. So what is the corresponding expense for each of these 5 years? We have already seen that the car will lose value over its useful life. Let us assume for the sake of simplicity that the car loses equal value for each of the 5 years. That means in each year, the loss in the value of the car is $10,000. This loss in value is the corresponding expense for each of the 5 years. Therefore, the revenue from the use of the car is matched with expense from the use of the car in the same year. Matching principle is applied because the cost of the asset is spread over the years that benefit from the use of that asset and revenue is matched with the expense of the year. Now I know I keep saying that there is a loss in value, but what is the reason for this loss in value? value. Let's find out. The reasons for this loss can be recalled using the term DEP which stands for depletion, economic reasons, passage of time and physical deterioration. The first cause is depletion. If the non-current asset is land that is used for mining or quarrying purpose, it will lose value as more water is drawn or more minerals are excavated. Economic reasons are when equipment like computers can rapidly become out of date and therefore lose the ability to meet the needs of the business. Let's look at the third cause now. The life of certain assets, say for example a lease, has legal limits. So if a business takes premises on long-term rent or lease, the lease will likely lose value as time goes by. And of course, the last and most probable cause is physical deterioration or wear and tear of the asset. Also, if the asset falls into a poor physical state due to rust, rot, decay, etc., it will lose value. In the income statement at the end of the year, depreciation of the year, that is $10,000, will be shown as an expense. So can you tell me what effect will this have on the profit for the year? Yes, depreciation will reduce profit for the year. In the statement of financial position at the end of year 1, the first column will show cost of $50,000. The second column will show depreciation till date which is called accumulated depreciation of $10,000. The third column will show the net book value which is the cost minus the accumulated depreciation that is $50,000 minus $10,000 which is $40,000. In the statement of financial position at the end of year 2, the first column will show the cost that is $50,000. The second column will show depreciation till the date of the statement of financial position that is 2 years of accumulated depreciation which is $20,000 and the third column will show net book value which is cost minus accumulated depreciation which is $50,000 minus $20,000, $30,000. Thus, charging depreciation is an application of the principle of prudence since depreciation ensures that non-current assets are shown at more realistic values in the statement of financial position 
and profit is not overstated in the income statement. So this was a short introduction to the topic depreciation for Cambridge IGCSE accounting. In the next video, we will understand the straight line method of depreciation and disposal of non-current assets.